Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be setting up Netbox, which is a um, software that you can run on a virtual machine and it can kind of keep track of everything you have IT related. It's kind of like a building management system, but without any of the controls of the building. Um, it essentially just focuses purely on kind of like an inventory of what you have, where it is, and notes about everything. So without further ado, let's get started. So in um, Termius here, I'm going to run an update on the VM. So sudo apt update dash y, and then I'm gonna do sudo apt upgrade dash y. And we will run the commands to update the VM. Um, this is using kind of an older image of Ubuntu right now, but um, it'll be okay for what we're doing. Um, essentially the next step is going to be, we're going to first of all install Docker, um, that's what's going to run Netbox. And then we're also going to set up Docker uh, with Docker Compose to um, get all of that kind of working together. And it should be, um, we're gonna let this run. I'm actually gonna open up a new tab here. If I duplicate this window, we're going to connect to the virtual machine separately and we can start working on the uh, Docker stuff. So um, I'm gonna let the update continue running. Um, we're gonna run git clone dash B and release HTTPS github.com slash netbox dash community community slash um, netbox dash docker dot git so we're cloning the git repository of this and let's go into that directory using cd so now let's make our docker compose file we're going to run nano uh, docker dash compose dot override dot yml for a yaml file uh, now we're going to type in services services uh, enter tab netbox same thing enter tab tab ports and then we'll tab again um, and we're going to do eight ports 8000 through 8000 so that's forwarding externally 8000 actually and internally port 8080 and then we're going to do control x on the keyboard y and then enter and now we'll run docker compose well once we're ready uh, we're going to run docker compose um, pull and docker compose up um, so now that the update is completed, we're going to now install Docker and Docker Compose. So we'll run docker.io and docker-compose to install those commands just like that. As you just saw on your screen, we will run that. Okay, and we'll click OK. So next we're going to run sudo usermod-a capital G docker and then your username. So in this case, my username is YouTube, um, but you can run this for any, any username. Uh, essentially, we're adding ourselves to the Docker group. That way, um, technically, you don't have to use sudo for these commands. Um, you'll have to reconnect your SSH session. So now that we did the user mod command, we're going to reconnect uh, to the virtual machine. Open this up in a new tab. And then we will connect. So let's go into our um, uh, folder here. So cd netbox. And we'll run docker compose pull. Actually, I totally forgot the hyphen there. It's docker dash compose pull so we're going to pull down all the images that we will need for this um it's just going to go through and download everything that we need um and then we'll kind of combine them all together with with the up command that's going to actually start these services um for us to be able to connect to them okay and now we're going to do sudo docker dash compose um up and i'm actually going to i'm actually going to specify dash d and force recreate so just in case there's anything here already, it's going to force kind of recreate all that stuff. Um, so it's going to go through, it's going to create all of the volumes that we'll need. So this is kind of like a hard drive that it's creating for each of these different services. And it's going to keep track of what they do, where they are, etc. Now it's going to go through and create all of the different, um, they're called containers, but it's going to create all the different services that we need. Um, that way they can all run together. Next, we're going to run this command to create a user account sudo docker dash compose exec netbox op slash netbox slash netbox manage dot pi and we're going to create super user okay so uh, this is going to essentially load this kind of python script here to create a username so i'm going to use the username of admin email address admin at beamnet.works password is a password that we are going to give it um, same password again. Oh, and it's too short. Um, must contain at least 12 characters in one numeral. Wow. Bypass password validation and create super user. Anyway, yes. Next on Netbox, you'll go to your IP address of your virtual machine on port 8000. And now we can type in the at username of admin and the password that we set. 
I'm not going to say the password. And there we go. We are in Netbox. There is a Netbox demo you're able to view, and you can go to demo.netbox.dev to check it out. And you can see kind of a demonstration of what everything can look like um, if you were to use Netbox yourself. This is a completely free software. I believe they do accept donations, but um, you'll see that we have a ton of offices and, offices and sites that you can have. Um, but if we click on certain ones, you'll see there's a nice panel that views all of your information all kind of um, nicely. There's also a journal and change log that you can keep track of certain histories of sites. Well, let's say there's a power outage, you can keep track of that in your journal um, and see kind of what the SLA looks like or that kind of thing. Uh, it's really cool. So Netbox is a really powerful software. Like I said, I've used this for a long time, but I can't show you um, my instances of Netbox for privacy reasons, but it's a great software. Highly recommend it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. But that is about it for this video. So thank you for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.